Hello everybody and welcome to our new lecture presented to you by Dr. Nidal Mahmoud, a lecturer at the uh, English Department, College of Education, Misan University. Yes, in the last lecture uh, I presented to you a brief biography of William Blake and today uh, we start with one of his poems which is entitled uh, The Sick Rose. Um, as usual, we start reading uh, the, uh, the text of the poem, and then we go into the details, uh, of course. O oh, rose, thou art sick, the invisible worm that flies in the night, in the howling storm, has found out thy bed of a crimson joy, and his dark secret love does thy life destroy. The, uh, of course, the poem, um, it uh, could be uh, read on different implications. So uh, let us start with explaining some of the uh, important vocabularies like the word art. It means are and we have invisible. It means unseen, howling, uh, meaning a crying, warm. It is a very and tiny and very small or um, unseen insect. And a crimson, it, it means a deep red. Okay, let us start with the um, I mean, the general meaning of the, the poem is that the poem deals with the idea of destruction of beauty. Okay, so uh, this is uh, concerning the general meaning. Let's move to um, uh, understand the detailed meaning of the poem. And we start with, O oh, rose, thou art sick, the invisible worm that flies in the night in the holy storm. The poet here addresses the, uh, the rose, uh, which he describes as very sick. And he feels terribly sorry from the word oh it means that he is sorry for what happened for the sickness of the rose and this sickness uh, actually it is caused by a worm and this worm uh, it flies in a very stormy night so uh, it was a very tiny one but was able to destroy the the beauty uh, of the the rose okay this is concerning i mean i'm going to explain the the surface meaning first of all and then we move to understand the hidden meaning uh, of the poem be a poem because i told you it could be uh, read on different levels for it has more than one uh, theme more than one idea then he said has found out thy bed of a crimson joy and his dark secret love does thy life destroy the poet then goes on to uh, explain how this destruction came to happen. Of course, the worm which is flying in the holing storm has found its way into uh, the crimson red of the, the rose. And uh, it is, uh, or it was able to destroy the beauty of the rose. So he wants to, uh, of course, to show how the dark, dark secret love destroys the sweetness of uh, the, the uh, rose. Uh, of course, um, the uh, intention here or the message of the poet, uh, he intends to show the destructive effect of nature, which is presented by the image of the worm um, on the beauty and innocence of nature, which is presented by the image of the rose. Okay, this is the first thing. And uh, also, since you know that the, uh, the rose, uh, actually it symbolizes uh, the innocence, um, the happiness, the guy side of life, whereas the worm it represents the ugly side of law uh, of life. So here we have two contrasted uh, images, and uh, this of course uh, conveys um, William Blake's uh, theory or his idea about the two contrasting sides of a human soul. And um, of course he describes here, or we have uh, two struggling sides. The first one. Uh, presented by the image of the rose and you know as I told you it represents uh, the happy side of the beauty the, the happy side of life the guy uh, side of life the beautiful side of life and uh, where I uh, represent her good okay and um, on the other hand we have uh, the warm and it represents uh, the ugly side of life to represent the evil so we can say that uh, or we can read the poem as uh, it uh, presents the theme of what of uh, the struggle between good and evil. Okay, this this is the first thing, and um, the uh, so uh, it, this kind of struggle, you know, it is an everlasting, it is eternal struggle between good and evil. 
the poem of course is based on symbolism and you know the rose uh, itself it symbolizes the joy and the, the joyful or the happy side of life whereas the warm it, it, it stands for the ugly uh, side of life so we have two symbols here uh, the um, image uh, i mean of the rose and uh, the uh, the warm this is the first thing uh, we have another device which is a contrast there is contrast between innocence symbolized by the rose and evil symbolized by the war and also we have a contrast between life and death uh, okay uh, this is the uh, second uh, literary device we have also illustration uh, William Blake of course he uses illustration to clarify his ideas concerning uh, the sick rose and he presents the idea of destruction and decay through the image of warm and the idea of a beauty through the image of the the uh, rose yes uh, metaphor of course uh, yes we have metaphor metaphorically of course the poet uses expressions like uh, dark secret love howling storm to indicate the the sense of decay and he also compares the rose to sick person who cannot walk due to his uh, due to his dick sickness and the word howling also it is used to describe the sound of the storm uh, and this of course uh, indicates the sense of uh, horror and uh, terror as well yes we move to the other device which is personification the poet here uses um, uh, the pronoun thou to personify the rose as a sick man and also the worm is personified by the pronoun his yes you have to pay your attention to these devices because they can help you understand uh, the the, uh, the meaning uh, of the poem yes alliteration this is one of the uh, sound devices here we have that the for example we have does destroy yes and uh, you know what is meant by alliteration and uh, the rhyme scheme of the poem is A, B, A, C, B, D, um, F, E, F. The poem also can be seen as an attempt to criticize the forbidden relationship between a man and woman. And you know, the rose symbolizes maybe a young lady who has fallen in love with a young man. And the young man is uh, compared her to the worm. Who flies in the night and this love is rejected by others and that is why it happened uh, uh, during the night uh, yes and therefore it cannot be revealed during the day uh, this uh, love cannot see the light as a result uh, the lady she loses she loses her reputation she is decayed she uh, she has lost her beauty and uh, which is uh, can be seen as a sacred thing mm -hmm.